welcome back folks to the knot breaker youtube channel today we're taking a look at the timberline chainsaw sharpener here you can see some of the parts well all the parts it comes with the crank carbide cutter the allen wrench the timberline sharpener itself and the little bag that you can put all your goodies in Taking a look, you can see the two Allen screws on top for removing the barrels because they are interchangeable and they make other angles of those barrels. Um, the silver part there is the block and pawl. It has an adjustment screw. You'll see what that's for shortly. You'll also take notice that there are three screws on the front. The outer two are for tightening the timber line to your chainsaw bar. I'm not 100% sure what the middle one does. Maybe to put tension on the chain. I've never used it. So maybe someone can tell me. And this is just a different look at the barrels uh, where your carbide cutter goes into. So we'll get started and we'll drop her down on the chainsaw bar and get to showing you guys how to use this bad boy. This isn't the fastest way to sharpen a chain by any means but it is highly accurate so you want to get started by putting the pawl up against the back of the cutter head and from there you'll take your carbide cutter and slide it through the back in the correct barrel just to get a feel for where you need the whole sharpening jig to be you can see here that you just slide her through and get that cutter right in that gullet you don't want to see much space in there and that'll change too as we start tightening everything down so you don't want to make any adjustments to your block and pawl until you've gotten the front kind of squared away you just get her lined up in there sorry for moving the camera around so much you can see a little bit of a gap around it that'll all tighten up eventually yeah we'll just put a little light pressure on the front on those two outer screws get everything squared up on there you can see now that even at this point the gap is pretty well gone um, a little bit at the top then we just push our block and pawl up against the back of the cutter head and we can get started sharpening here shortly then you just give her one final tighten and you're ready to go So now we'll take a look at how to actually perform the sharpening. As you can see, I'm cranking the little handle and pulling it out. My typical go-to is to crank on the way in and crank on the way out. Just so it gets a full range of motion. I'm not sure if that's what the company specifies that you do or not, but I want a full range of motion. So here's the gullet and by now we should all know that you're sharpening the top ledge of the cutter head. Um, if you don't know that, then I suggest before you operate a chainsaw, you go watch some chainsaw sharpening tutorials to learn what you're sharpening, where you're sharpening, and how to anyway with that ran over um, I marked it so we can kind of get a visual representation of the way it sharpens and how it performs if it takes off all the marker obviously it did what it's supposed to do well you see I, I went in cranking and I came back out cranking just for that full range of motion I think I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this a second time. I didn't feel like what I had done the first go was adequate. I'm 
and there you can pretty much see the metal shavings and where I sharpened there is no more marker so even with this crappy close up I gotta get some better equipment that's on me but um that's that's a sharp tooth cat claw sharp is what they call it boy look how low my rakers are I'm just now noticing that. <laughs> I keep them filed down I like an aggressive chain this is just another angle of the carbide bit on the cutter head with some marker on the cutter head to show that it does its job properly um, for any naysayers out there hopefully you guys have learned how to use this timberline sharpener and what it's all about I'll link their website in the description um, you can go purchase one yourself or um, just browse and see what they have to offer they they offer a multitude of parts spare parts different angled barrels uh, replacement carbide tips I've not dealt with their customer service yet so I can't speak on that but um, yeah go check them out thank you guys for watching liking commenting sharing subscribing all that good stuff um, hopefully you learned what I came here to teach you and until we meet again, keep your edges sharp and clean, stay safe, and be good to one another.